Tonight, an arrest in the deadly hit and run that took the life of an elderly woman in Fairfax County. And investigators say it appears the suspect did it on purpose. WSNI's Janice Park has more with how police caught up to him. Well, we have learned that six hours after this deadly hit and run, police have arrested a suspect. They have him in custody. His name is Kenan Ozcan. We also know that the victim is a 75 year old woman who lives in Fairfax. Now, take a look behind me. You can see police and investigators still out here taking pictures. But once again, a suspect is in custody. A huge white sheet billows in the wind, covering the body of 75 year old Maria Sino of Fairfax, hit not once but twice by a driver who did not stop. So many people, they still uh, talk on the phone and uh, even text, you know, so it's really, really dangerous. This is awful. At this busy intersection, neighbors were astonished. The driver, Kenan Ozcan, was able to make a turn and allegedly hit her again, ultimately killing her. The rest of Ozcan came six hours after the deadly hit and run. At a nearby shopping center, police say Ozcan assaulted a woman who tried to take a picture of him. Police then noticed he had damage to the front of his car. And that's when they arrested him. Ozcan is charged with the hit and run and also attempted robbery. Just sad. I don't know how family can, you know, it's going to be very difficult to go through all that. Tonight, investigators still piecing together what happened. That left 75-year-old Asino lifeless on Route 50 and Rugby Road. And the suspect has been charged with felony hit and run and attempted robbery. Once again, the suspect has been booked. He is in custody and police say they're thankful for the, all the tips they've gotten. In Fairfax, Janice Park, WUSA 9. Route 50 is now reopened, but Rugby Road remains closed.